On the Midweek Madness AFL Today Show, I think we sort of dug into and fixed the AFL trade period, question mark. Also, we look at Thursday Night Footy. What is your favourite thing from today's show, Alex? Errol Goulden kicking a goal at Docklands. Okay. What about you, Stats <laughs> Boy? Uh, Rob Marshall, I think he's having a very underrated season. We also break down a bunch of the news. We have some big calls. We've got a bunch of yeah, nah, specifically about the Swans, because they are playing Thursday Night Footy. There's a bunch in the show. Get right around it right now. I'll tell you what. It should be a cracker. That's right. The Swans are favoured nine and a half points on the road at Marvel Stadium against the Western Bulldogs. This is a surprisingly excellent matchup that you would have looked at. I, mean, I don't know about that. They and always have good, ma- good The matches. way these teams mm-hmm. are playing, yeah. who knows what could happen in this one. So the over-under is a pretty interesting 168.5. Over. It, it feels like over. it's going... Yeah. Flying over that. Under right? the roof, I'm going to say. The Swans are kicking over 100 points a game at the moment. This is flying over. Yeah. And the Dogs Can last kick. week put up 70 on the Giants. But it kicked but the 8, week prior to that, ripped off 19 mm. 19, 133 against the Tigers at the yeah. D. So. I don't know. At Marvel, though, how are the Swans there, Alex? Pretty good. Uh, we are 8-3 and three in the last five years at Marvel. I can remember the two of the losses. One was to the Western Bulldogs and one was to Carlton. Uh, both on Thursday nights, actually. Oh, um, but they are in 2022, I believe. Yeah, they were. Both yeah, of those losses. Yeah, I don't know what the third loss is, but I uh, were unbeaten in our last couple at Marvel. We won three games there last year. Mm-hmm. Nice one. Yeah, it was also a very raucous use of the word "we." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good job. <laughs> Stats, so why you got some stats? Uh, why not? Seven of the last eight meetings between these two have gone under the total points, which was a bit surprising when you got yeah some big. Matches. There was a lot yeah. of 70 to like 68. Last year was 70, 79 to 78 to 76 but I think, or something. I think the roof's going to be closed and I think it's going to be very high scoring because you've got the Lizard uh, scouring off half back. You've got a lot of yeah, great forwards on both teams. If the Bulldogs can kick straight, they can kick over 100 as well, but that's just a big if there. What did they kick? Was that, yeah, 19 points and then 22 points? 822. It was really hard conditions. They'll come back to Marvel and uh, yeah, kick a bit straighter, I think. Yeah. It's an interesting setup as well. So the Swans will be without Tom McCartan. Still without yeah. him. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Uh, which is interesting because you think about the dogs at Marvel and you th- yeah. like automatically you go Jamara. Norton. Norton. has been pretty good at Marvel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, Sydney did a pretty good job slowing down a couple Lewis of other. Lewis just going under the radar once again. A couple of big forwards last week. Uh, Matt Roberts could be back after a rest last week as well. Yeah, I think he comes straight back into the team and in, yeah. Braden Campbell stays a sub. Yep. yep. So that's just tough. Yeah, Fox out with the uh, AC joint. Robbie Fox also went out with a shoulder. Yeah. I- so just said that, yeah. But it's just like his role <laughs> he was just, for the Swans yeah. as well, right? Like this is that's what Roberts has been doing, though. Yeah. So you sort of look at that and go, is it like for like? It yeah, feels pretty similar. Ish. I don't know. It's a weird one. I'm tip. Like I think this is going to be a much closer game than we probably expect. The way the Swans have been playing has been awesome. They absolutely deleted my team. And I think last Wednesday's show we had a big call that might have been I don't know Jim saying something along the lines of. <laughs> What was it? Sydney had beat Carlton by 10 goals and everyone started taking them properly Very serious. close, yeah, yeah. Bang. Surprisingly. Nostra Gymdas over here, I'm just saying. <laughs> Nostra Ginger. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Nostra, Nostra uh, Gymdas. Jim Gymdas, I don't know. Uh, Both not great. Anyway, the Celtics, <laughs> Celtics, Celtics just forced overtime. Oh! <laughs> Can they I? were down by three. Amazing. How has it gone to overtime? All right. This is an awesome setup, though, because you've got Bont on one side, Jamara and Co. And then on the Swans, you go, whoa, who roll? And the guns, the Heen Man. The guns. I don't Warner, Papley. Trelaw has been really good. Trelaw has been crazy. Average so, 33 right. disposals. Who does James Jordan tag? He's, uh, he's, he's, has he been tagging every single week? Last yes, four weeks, yeah. he's he knocked off Whit- Sam Walsh. Whitfield, um, Sam Walsh, and It could be Trelaw, because it's like, I don't know, does Trelaw nah, actually feel not like as damaging, damaging though? Nah. I would tag Trelaw. Let's take him out of the game. He does get a lot of clearances. Because he gets a lot of, yeah, I would tag... Ed Richards, question no, mark. Ed Richards had two good games. I would tag Trelaw, and around the clearance, I'd have Robottom and Taylor Adams, depending on who's in mm. the midfield at the time, put pressure on Bontempelli, basically. Sure. Nice one. Well, I think Swans win this, but it's by not much. Seven points. Alex, I'm going to hate watching this because every Western Bulldogs game, it's just, it's painful to watch against the Swans. It would also be the funniest thing in the world considering you are an avowed Western Bulldogs hater. If they beat you, that would be very funny. Do you have to say something nice about Bevo if they win? No. (laughs) No, you actually, I think this is a sandwich sandwich bet between he and producer Gerald at this point. Yes, Gerald's a massive uh, Gerald does not care, unfortunately, (laughs) which is great. Gerald is currently dressed as a Bulldog uh, behind the (laughs) camera. He does have that dog in him. (laughs) He's about to just try to punch on with Alex as well just for talking down about his dog, so, yeah, I think the Swans on all things being equal will win this game by four goals. I think they've just got too much for the Dogs at the moment. I'm looking at they beat Richmond and the Giants are in free fall at the moment, whereas the Swans have just deleted Carlton. Yep. No Jason Johannesson. 
Ah, that's Riley not a Sanders idea. could come back. Surely he comes back in. Yeah, Bevo like said he's got to work touches. on his defensive work, so that's oh. why he's not getting getting a game at the moment. That's crap. Also, Norton at the moment has kicked 16 goals I think, in the last six or seven weeks, and like he's the number one player in the AFL for score involvements and goals in could that be, time. It could be a random massive Jamara game. He has one each year, right? Where it's like he's <laughs> we've been goals. saying this for like four weeks yeah. though. Cody Wayman's yeah, usually the one against the Swans <laughs> that does it, but he's still out. So yeah. yeah. Maybe a Jamara game. Six, yeah. six goals, what do you reckon? Mm. Uh, Stats boy, what's your pick here? Oh, very similar, Alex. Uh, Sydney by three goals. Just think they can match them in the midfield and then they're going to kick too big of a score. Like, unless, the line unless feels the short at nine and a half over. given recent form. Uh, I think the line and the over yeah. is a little bit out of whack. So yeah, be yeah the line should be that, closer so. to th- yeah, three goals, I think. Yeah, yeah, I thought Swan 17 and a half and the over under should be nearer to 180. Mm. Nice one. Agreed. There you go. Bit of Thursday Night Football. It should be a cracking game down at Marvel Stadium. If you like the vibe of this AFL Today show, I'll tell you what, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, do all the good stuff. The full shows are unreal. Check it out. Go on. Do it now. Do it.